Go to, uh, go to, show me your oisuki gakusuki. Oisuki gakusuki, lunch punch, reverse punch. Okay. Hi! Hi! Okay, and you strike, you can hang on, or you can let go and throw another strike. So for oisuki gakusuki, hi, hi! Strike and let go, and then strike again. Okay, so push the shield. Shield showing showing the inside what he's doing. You do oisuki gakusuki tomorrow. Hi. Ha! Oisuki gakusuki. That's tadasuki. Hi. 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 Hoo hoo. Good build. Do what he's doing. A good hard key punch. Punch past his head. Hi. Hi. We're gonna make she look like a green belt cup for your head tonight. Hi. Hoo. Hoo. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Mark you outside. Oisuki, Yakusuki, outside. Hi. 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 Okay. I see you having the lean towards her. Off balance. Everything is about leaning down. You have that punch out here. That's kind of leaning out here or I'm too far away, right? So I mean, come in. Once you're in this stance, this is your block. This is this is me not getting whatever I'm doing, I'm not getting hit. Now I'll step. See me step in, see me osa, the pressing block. See me high shoe. I move in to crowd space. Now I punch, my punch is being past it. I'm hitting the back of the head. But I'm not here, now I'm kicking his own time. I'm here. But I want to be close enough to kill that man and strike. So outside, Oisuki, Yakasuki. Okay. Hi! And breathe. Deliver that blow, then it's a key. Uh, right? Here we go. Hi! 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 Okay, let's move on. Now, let's just run through. I'm going to scoot over just a little bit away, guys. Give us some more room. There we go. She Okay. At some point, if you can take a look at it. Right, here's another. We can run through the, everything, Mark, and I'm going to give you a chance just to do one of them inside or outside. See where you are. Taishi, palm heel. Palm heel. Should be a palm heel to the inside. Taishi. Hi! Hi! Good. I'm kicking right in the crotch, you uh, Again, do it one more time without your crotch wide open. Out of your, come out of your cat stance. Okay, one more time. Why don't you imprint it in your brain properly? Okay, you got your Sukami. Now step out of it. Whatever push forward, step out of it and deliver your strike. choice. Give me a different choice. You're going to walk outside and use this move outside. Where are you going to hit this guy? Hi. 
do it now, Monte. Why'd you miss? Right? Remember, creative force is here. If you're doing the same level, the same block as the arm, you're going to miss it. Miss and they're going to nail you. Right? Because any thug on the street can throw a good solid punch to your face. They can get out there and go, wow, right? That wow it needs to be a good, distinct block. You have to find, bring it off where you find a block that works for you. Here we go. Hut! Hut! Right. Now, where's it going? Look how far away you are. So step in. Step. Good. Okay. Now a good choice is going to be either the jaw, the neck, the solar plex, the floating ribs, or the groin. So pick me a better choice. Better choice. Again, high tilt. Hi. Okay. Ray Canucci. Ray Canucci. Back knuckle strike. Inside. Hi. Now this one, grab holes. Do comic grab because you don't want them getting away from you, right? Now punch Hi. past the head. Straight in. Past the head. Hi. Past the head. Hi. Good. Again? Do that one again. Rake it, Uchi. Back knuckle strike. Hi. Hi. Good. Just come out of that cat stance a little bit more. Hitsui. Kneecap strike. Hitsui. Let's do an outside Hitsui. Get better control. Get the arm, get the, get the back of the, the gi, the uniform. Grab the hold of both hands. Grab, and then kneecap strike. So you got the leg. Hi. Where else can you go? Where else can you strike right there? Stay there. Okay, you got the leg. Where else? This is about all I can do on this. Okay. How, about her, how about her body? How about your right leg into her midsection? So this one? Grab the body. Exactly. I'd rather that choice than a leg. You may miss the leg on the street, but the body, less chance you're missing. Try that again. Remember, do a, when you do a, a, a kneecap strike, grab them. Because if you don't, they'll just move out of the way. When you grab them, it anchors them. You put them down into the ground so they can't just move just yet. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Grab body, grab, grab. Do that again. Take your time. Grab both hands. Both hands. Monte, go back. You step out. You make that block. And that block up. Boom. Okay. Grab. And I step. What am I doing? Once again, I'm anchored. Oh, oh, oh. What else can I do? Face. All right. All right. Hut. Grab. And Boom. So Hitsu is one on the test. We like to see one thing happen. See that? We like to see you pull the person into your knee. We like to see you, if you're in front of them, especially, just don't strike them. We like to see you pull the person. So you got two forces coming towards each other. Causes a maximum damage that way. Uh, Mawashi. Mawashi, roundhouse. Remember? Around the head, outside, Mawashi. Do you remember what Mawashi? Do a Mawashi for us outside. Outside Mawashi. Hi. Ha! Good. Now moving. He's stationary. Make him move before you hit him. Hi. Make him move. That means off balancing, right? Hi. Ha! Mm -hmm. How about we put this punch out? Hi. Put this punch out. Boom. Boom. Oh, Mawashi. Okay, or what? Move. <laughs> anyway, making move out of his stance. The strike. Okay, I want to see it again. Hi. <laughs> okay, Mark. Mawashi, let's see yours. What's your version? Mark, you got, the left, you got that left hand swinging around back here. What's it doing? Nothing. Okay, that's right, nothing. Don't put that left hand in action. You that's a that left hand should come, right? Block and cock. Cock, cock. Now, what you gonna do? Hi! 
way too far away, all right? Okay. Let's move on. I'm going to run through everything you can. Kagi Suki. Kagi. Let's do the, that's the roundhouse punch. Kagi. Do an inside Kagi. Inside Kagi. sets up your next move. So hit them in the crotch, hit them in the nose, make their eyes water. It is a stun. So it simply neutralizes the attack. Stops them from attacking more, hopefully. And then your next move is to what? To immobilize. Immobilize. And that means you finish the move. Either they can't go anymore or they're unconscious. Um, if I'm Ken, one knuckle, Sheila. Let's see your if I'm Ken on the inside. If I'm Ken, one knuckle, Sheila. Hi. Now, Mark, just turn your head out of the way so she can't do it. Just move your head. Okay, you missed. How do you anchor to get the strike into it? We balance the river again. Hi. Huh. Huh. Better. She has to anchor your head. Now, on the street, you can hit someone in the eye easily. But in this case, the tempo is you're getting close contact. So that means you want to control the head. Mark, same thing. Let's see you do it. Control the head to the inside. You don't have to strike her anywhere else first. I just want you to get inside and get a hold of her head and do an if on ten strike. Control the head. Boom. Hey. Now, hang on where you can hold. When I say mate, mate means pause, right? Now, control the head a little better. See how you got your hand there? There. Hold her head and push against your chest. Now, do what? Lean away, get her off balance a little bit. What I mean is step out a little more. There, now see how she had to step forward so you're off center her. Now that may tuck her head down, but you got the forehead. No, don't drop down. Just they may tuck her chin. Just what you do is pull the forehead up and there's the eye. Boom! Right? So they tuck and so you lift and pop them right in the eye. If on ten. So that's the main thing. If I just step into someone like this, and they're my size and strength, they're gonna bear hug me, and they're gonna lift me. See? But what do I do? I step oh. away, so now I've got them on their toes. You have to all just, if I'm stronger than her, it's okay. But if you get someone, let's say you get Same. Jason, or you get, who's doing squats every day, right, lifting vehicles over his head, you have to get away from his strength, and that means take his core away from him. Okay. Do that one more time. This is a this is a very valid combat usable technique to poking someone in the eye with your knuckle, right? Off 
center. Control the head. There, now, there it is. Hi. Oh, right. Good job. Best technique yet, Mark. You may be the Ippon King uh, uh, ninja of the school. Nihon Nukite. Two fingers. I'm doing outside of the Nihon. Two fingers to the outside. Hi. Hi. Control the head. All she's going to do is just duck away, move, and you're going to break your fingers on their side of their, their thick skull. So control the head. Okay. Hi. Hi. Again, see how you did reach way over there and get a hold of it? Yeah. That may work, but then again, it may not. So let's make sure, make sure we get a deep breath. As soon as they throw a punch at you, keep them close to you, even if it's just right by them. He reaches for me with her hand. Reaches for me. Watch what I'm going to do. Step in. And notice where I am. You lift up. Bam. Right. And then you take your back. You take your back. And now I get it. Okay. She's over here. Yeah. I can't get to her unless I do what? Take your back. See? I want to make sure I do what? Even here. Even here, which is even better. My favorite is taking them all the way around. <laughs> this is all bounce. And then. Spiritual. And your spirit trust can even work here. Your spirit trust this way. This way? Or this way? So, what am I doing to the head again? Hold it. Hold it. Control, control the head. Alright, let's see it. Control the like cabeza. Okay. Control it. And two fingers to the head. Boom. Tight. Shuto, show me your shuto. Shuto uchi. Shuto uchi. He's doing the hair shuto. Hi! Ha! Yes. And you did it from like 10 feet away. Show me that you enter him a little closer to enter your shuto to his body. Hi! Hi! Where's his, where's his bounce point at? Uh, there. Where's it this way? Where's his bounce point at? Uh, this way? Show me. Pull him just lightly. Yeah. Okay, so step in, bring him to his balance point, and then deliver your shoot up. Flag it. Not from here. Flag it. Show it to me. Hi. Flag it. Now step in and deliver. Ha! Better. All right, Mark. Here, let's see here. Let's see an inside shoot though. Hi. Flag it. And ha! Better. And then let's see outside. Tetsu. Basically the same footwork. Right? Same kind of distance, too close, too far away. You got that kind of right in that little uh, foot range you're working with. Outside Tetsu. <laughs> you can do that. You come with Tetsu, bottom fist. You can come right, you can flag it and come right over the top of head if you choose. 
Now hold your position. You're here. Now, shift your feet to your foot. Now, where do you test are you going to go? How about the inside? You got the stomach, you got the crotch, you got the groin area, the stomach, or where? Right to the head. So when you grab, remember there's always this little move you like. You're here, you grab, you step in, and now you're in that nice Yoko stance to do low or high Tetsui strikes. Let's see one of those. Because I'm going to ask you between Shuto and Tetsui on a test to do varieties of that, and this is one I'm looking for. Right. Change your stance, Yoko. Now make sure you got the room, you're almost crowding yourself a little too much. Right, make sure you get in there. Now, you know that you know the steam cigar Tetsui. Let's see this. I, li I like it because he's tall, right? So if someone's taller, you won't work. Let's just throw the punch. You can see it like this. He comes over the top. Boom! He comes over to each other here. So the idea is that punch comes. It's a down block. Right, you're talking right in the nose. Boom! This could also be what? A nice strike. Nice strike. So from here, even if it's forward or the outside, it's like boom, strike, or boom, done, right? So I want you to do an outside, block down, go using a cat dance, plant, stun, right to the nose. Right hand, boom, use your right hand. Block with the left, down with the left, Raise the right hand. Just block with your left right there. Put the left hand in. Step in with your right. Straight Boom. In. Straight in. There you go. Okay, let's keep going. Coco Tiger Mouth Strike. Let's see an inside Tiger Mouth. Hi. Hi. Good. Perfect. She lifts the earth. Doesn't matter. Inside, outside. You choose. Coco. Hi. Good. Okay, where else can you hit? Throat. Where else is a good shot to pick up? I'm not sure that I do this because my thumb, but. Uh, I don't know, can you? Well. How about I show you in the crotch? Rose, look at my hand. Oh. So your thumb is out of the way. And a lot of times you can take the end of your fingers and take it and just shove them right in someone's groin and you're going you're gonna to nail them. Right, but it is a tiger mouth strike. Yeah. One thing we kind of took out of association is a tiger mouth block. Because so many people come across with it, they're hurting the thumb all the time. So we just took out the block for, for Coco. Uh, Kokuto, what's Kokuto? You, you like this one, Mark? Oxbow. Oxbow. Oxbow, let's see it. You, you choose, inside or outside. Where's your favorite? How about here first? Stun it first. Here is too far away. You got to do something where you deliver it inside to give a reaction. So from there, just hold the wrist, deliver it to the belly, high, boom, and then go forward. Now high. from there, just raise the wrist straight up. High. It's like a crane move, right? Up and down with the wrist. So again, let's hit. Put a pause, strike, put a pause, shoot, turn your head, and then bring it right up under the chin. Hi. Boom. Now you're swinging it, Mark. You're swinging it. Straight in. Straight in strike. Now make sure it hits its heart, right? Hi. Straight in. Boom. And then from there, it comes straight in. Hi. Well, what else can you do? How else? Hang on to the wrist. Hold to the wrist. How else can you hit them with that wrist from there? To there? The ribs? Where else? What else can you do? Nose. Okay. So you got groin shots. You've got nose and face. The groin. So you got this up and down motion here. You've got up under the chin. This is the body. You've got uh, around the side of the temple and jaw. And you also got what? You ever seen those Kung Fu movies? They do this all the time. They're swinging that ox bowl around. Man, right in the atlas, the jaw, the temple, to that hard part of the wrist. 
But they condition it. They condition it. They pound it on it. They make sure it turns into a rock. Pound it on a bag. Right. Sheila, let's see your Okuto. Where would you use this? Ha! Ha! She got to see a better block. You look like a cat playing over for you. Hi! Hi! I want I want Mark's arm to be red with fire when you do that block. Now. Ha! Now, did you feel a block that time, Mark? That's how she can do it yeah. every time. Okay, Mark, let's see your uh, your three angles of the elbow. PG. Ha! Ha! One. Hi. Two. Hi. Three. Good. Hi. Good. Uh, Uchi Wanto. Uchi and Soto. Those are two names that will stay with you. Uchi Wanto means inner form, and Soto is outer form. It's like you're chopping someone like chopping firewood. Remember, I was telling you, Jason, I might anchor the hand. If I'm going to hit to the inside, anchor the hand away and tighten that part of your form. If you need the back of your form, anchor. By tightening the wrist, hit with the back of the form. Just don't hit with a loose wrist. Your, this is called a, a, a deduction, adduction of the wrist. Right? And so whatever side's going, you're gonna tighten that side that's gonna take the impact. Okay, so just show me, show me Uchi Wanto inside or outside, and then turn around, throw another punch, and do and do a soto. Let's do two moves back to back. I gotta read this one. Hi. Okay. I'd use it on the street. If you're going to hit some really big, strong person who may be trying to insult you in some physical way, how would you really use it? Where would you hit them? In your neck. But show me. Show me how you're going to really use it. I don't want to see how you may just make them knock the wind out of them. How would you really stun someone really well? With that? Hi. Hi. Much better. And if you miss the neck, you may hit what? The jaw. The jaw. If they dug down, you may hit the temple. Always aim lower, so when they duck down, they're going to a good zone of strike. Okay, soto, soto wanto, outer form. Outer. You can do it inside or outside, doesn't matter. <laughs> Boom. Okay, and that's okay, but she has duck your head down when you point. Duck your head. Woo! Okay, so let's get a better line of direction of attack. <clears throat> what that means is change the stance. Go to your, okay, but change your stance. Look how, look how you're having to reach again. Yoko, right, right. Now, she ducks her head, lift the arm. Solar plex, ribs. <clears throat> you can knock somebody out, hit them hard enough in the solar plex for this move. Okay. Now, do it again, but Tsutami, and step in. See how I'm stepping in? I'm stepping straight, Mark. I'm not coming around like a dance move. When I Tsutami, I'm shooting my leg straight in. Come, I'll put this, make sure it's on film for you. Her arms out, and then I put a catch. I'm taking the foot, I'm coming straight in to the motion. Straight in to the under, straight in to the top. See, she may put her hand up to block it, right? That's what I'm going to do. Ribs, shoulder flex, Now I said I didn't blow it up. Watch. Bam! Tomahawk to the top of the back of the skull of the hospital area. Alright, so let's see what I'm hanging and looking for as well. What's in your stance? You decide, you go higher or lower. <coughs> or you get one to the inside. Okay, just stay where you are. Look at it. You step in, load the weapon. Load it. Bend your knees. Yeah. Look, right. look at your stance. You're a little off. Get your cat stand straight out of the line. And now pick your targets. Hi. There it is. Hot head. You can always change. Now, remember I showed y'all Osa the other day from here? Osa, same thing. Put your hand up. Boom. Catch. Step in. Boom. And she blocks it. She blocks it here. <gasps> Watch. <laughs> that is Osa. Osa is what? Pressing. <clears throat> now Boom. Right to the head. So if there's anybody with a hand up, you can always do what? <clears throat> Open their center. Now you've got strikes. Yes, stunts. One of my favorites for this move is really simple. Both hands in, throw a big round half punch. Someone steps in like the old cowboy. Right? Step in, look where I'm at. Tomahawk. Right. 
take their head off. Boom. Yeah. Now watch. No boat. Bring it But also if you come underneath. So you're looking for something on the street that has a knockout shot with one shot. So you're trying to create an opening. I watch this old police officer arrest a, a drug addict on the street. That guy swung at him. He just went, boom, just barely brought his arm into the, the pitcher. The guy went, mm -hmm. out. Just right across the temple and jaw area. So show me your shot that's going to take this person down. If you have to, open them or stay through your Yoko stance. You choose. All right, let's see it. That's Uchi or Soto. We're looking at Soto. Soto, outer form. All right. Switch hands, Mark, with it. Switch hands. Now, you go high or low. Remember, that's where you were a second ago. High or low. High. You decide high or low. High. Now, stay where you are. Take your left hand and grab our bicep area. Left hand. Now, just swing the rope in. Now, look at you. And you get boom, four or seven different strikes. So Osa, Osa used to be a block that we didn't we didn't understand so much in early years. But now <laughs> we go back to Shihan Marder, and he he had he was showing us for years he knew it. It's just whatever they're doing, you just doing one. Just open them. And just for a moment, that one goofy little move opens that whole center line of it to, to attack again. Alright, let's get uh, high raking, four knuckle. Four knuckle, higher raking. Hi. And do it at the same time. I want you to foot stomp and your strike. Impacting the body at the same time. Foot hits the ground, hand hits the throat. Hi. Okay. Pause. Pause. Then. Okay. Y'all, you know, it's full of movies. You know, if you're on film, you gotta get the. It's your sound effects for movies. That's a joke. But the idea is the hand and foot are making the, the same impact at the same time. It, ca it causes more of an effect on the body. <laughs> now, same time. Same time. Go past, past the head. Come to your gas hands. Now. There it is. That's it. Okay. Next one. Uh, Jan Han. Four fingers. Now, we don't really recommend this because it would be easy to break your fingers if you miss your target. But if you hit someone in the front, front of the throat or the carotid arteries, it's a dangerous move. But you know where I like it? Very simple. When the punch comes out, watch. A yawn, on. I use the four fingers to curl a little bit and use the crutch. It's real easy to go boom because you can get past all the blue jeans, all the materials, and find that one little opening. But as far as here, See, watch your head. Karate garbers. Okay. Notice I've turned it. Here. You know, practice my fingers as strong as others too. So if I do, it's going to probably be here. But useful for me personally, crutch. Then maybe there. So it just matters on how strong your fingers are, but the crotch area is open game for sure. You've got to watch the, uh, you've got to use the bag. For that. I don't want to break my fingers, right? Sheehan, if, if, if you don't necessarily have strong fingers and you're worried about, you know... Never you, use a technique. If, okay, but it wouldn't be something that you might want to use maybe lighter just for distraction? You could. I mean, the more throws his punch at Hi! Hmm. So when he puts it out here, I'm just going, I'm just using the new one. Just enough to, and then one. And then I hit him where I want to hit it. So ninjutsu works a lot on this principle. Ninjutsu is like, they do the knee strike, neck strike, then they do it all. So they're hitting the knee, the down there, and the neck, sometimes at the same time on in coordination with each other. But it's not, there's your strike. Your name is John. This is, you go right into those testicles. Right, because where's his head gonna go? Now watch, grab his head, and watch, boom! And then uppercut, see that? And take him to the ground. Step to the outside, do your own Yan Han Uchi. Hi. <gasps> now you came from three feet away. Hi. He sees it coming. So, 
remember these are hidden techniques. The person shouldn't see your hand loaded out here, right? They should see, they shouldn't see this coming. They should see, here I am, like on video, I block, and the technique is hidden. Now if I have a fist, if I got a finger, what I'm gonna do with my hand. So if I got a yan hand, I don't want them to see my finger. I turn, I turn. So I'm gonna step in, I deliver the strike without them seeing what it is. I mean, obviously a fight, things happen fast and they not see anything. But if someone does see it, they may react to a finger versus a fist and you may hurt yourself. So hide the yang to get ready to deliver it. All right. And I still see about two feet of space out here, don't I? So cover, close the gap. Get in, get in tighter way. Better, better. Okay, Marco, see yours, yang Han. Hi. Far away. Far away, Mark. Step in. You're right. You're going to this cat stance a lot, so this may not be the best move for cat stance. This may be one coming to work. Yoko. Yoko, right? Now look at my hand. What is it? Mm. Right? So they see this. They put their other hand up protecting the face. I just in front. Oh. Then maybe to the eyes. Because you can use this one still beyond yeah. to the face. I've used this in a, against another bodyguard one night. I did my version of Nirvana. This is the old concept that you close your fingers off and kind of go, you pop up like a fish, pop in the surface, pop right in the eyes. As soon as you touch the eye, it's like, oh, and then like, boom, oh, no. then you take them over, right? So you're Yanhan, try Yoko, whether you, whether you Sukami or not, it doesn't matter, you cleared an area. Now look, even here, even here. But I want you to know that there always gets a good target. And the way I'm doing it, Mark, flush. See how I'm tapping? It's still gonna hurt. That's all you need to put someone on the ground with a brush. You don't have to hit them with them. All you gotta do is that much power with your fingers, and they're gonna go down. Unless, don't wanna bite guys. <laughs> Let's see it. Yan Han. Ha! Hi. Good. Now, when you finish, you just walk away, or do you go to a stance? Finish the move. Go to a center line defense after you deliver your strike. Ha! Hi! Oh, now what? That's the center line, because you're ready for your next move, right? You're setting up the move. Do it again. You're setting up either a throw, a lock, a choke, you're gonna do next. Ha! Hi! Alright guys, rally each other. Alright, I've got to get out of here guys.